is progress thus far on a tiger stripe project for my daughter's pink scout didn't really have uh, what I wanted in mind and I've just started taping the stock and it's kinda coming together we'll see I'm also going big on the uh, palm swell because of that's gonna be a high traffic area so I want to keep as much of the base paint there as possible and just come over top the uh, with the black so we'll keep that area as high traffic so I don't have to touch it up often I'll try to cut one of these pieces out on camera See if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just taking the X-Acto knife and just kind of trying to follow a flow. And then every piece don't turn out perfect, but uh, you got to keep working on them. I try to take some of the straight line out. Put a little curve in it. Yeah. It'll stay stuck for me. There we go. Now I'm going to apply that piece to the rifle and see if I can get it to fit like I want it to. Uh, yeah, I think the piece is going to work well there. So that's what she's looking like so far. It's going to look pretty cool, I think. I think my daughter's going to be happy with it. It'll break up some of this pink, too, which will be a good thing. Be welcomed. It'll probably be okay. It's gonna be a lot of pink, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to stick this next piece. So let's start it. Let me start it down here. All right, now what you do is just take your finger and push it up. There you go. All the way to the end. Cool. Now you've added some tempo to your own gun. What should you do with like, like that and you know, two teeth, like a thing, teeth. Make, like it small? I'm gonna put a little fat one up in here. Can I push it down? Yes. Yeah. Where did you get that piece of cardboard from? Outside. Uh, in your gun? In your gun? Barn? No. In your barn? No. Where from outside? In your garage.
All right, it's time to apply our first coat of black to Tiger Stripe Pink Sock for the CD Scout 452. Looks like it's going to be just a black sock number. Yeah, but you don't have to take the tape off. Can I help you do it? Yep. I want you to do the other side. Okay. Cool. Smells good, too. No, it doesn't. Smells good to me. It looks something like, you could have a little, like, piece of something. Back up. All right, after five coats of uh, the Rust-Oleum matte black flat, it's time to remove the striping to see how we did, and then it'll be time for clear coat. I don't know that this is going to come out as good as I wanted it to. Stripes ain't gonna be very sharp. Well, here's the final reveal. I'm not super excited about it. My daughter says she loves it, which is good. Just some of the places like that where the uh, paint bled under the tape, I'm not excited about. Back here, I didn't do a very good job of taping. Maybe you won't see the top side too. And by spraying five coats of paint, there is um, an obvious ridge on each line where the paint's at. Man, it looks okay. And she's going to beat it up because she's a child, so it gets a little uh, torn up. That's okay. The problem with that is if I strip the paint, the black paint, I'm assuming I have to also strip the pink. Which is okay with me, but may not be with her. And that's it. Now it's time for clear coat.